Hey, what's up everybody? It's Joe with Head First Fishing coming at you from St. Petersburg, Florida. We just got off the water, cleaned up the boat, cleaned the fish. We got a nice little mess of speckled trout. I got a gigantic ladyfish. I got a sail cat. So, to continue the series of greater garbage, we're going to find out what's the truth about ladyfish and the sail cat. I'm really excited. Um, we were in the middle of a, a battle with speckled trout and then right at the end we started getting a few junk fish so that's how we knew uh, they're basically hanging up. But anyways, that gives us an opportunity to continue the taste test. So in the name of science and your benefit, are those fish out there that you're throwing away, should you be throwing them away? So right here we got a ladyfish flame. I'm going to rinse it off a little bit more just, for, just to be careful. There's a few scales in there, but that's okay. Rinse it off real good. Now, this is for all you people that were commenting on my last video that the oil was not hot enough. So I think it's hot enough now. I think we got it plenty hot enough. You see we got a pretty significant little bloodline right here in the middle of it, but there's actually a fair amount of good looking meat in there. Um, I've never filleted a ladyfish with the purpose of, you know, eating it. Um, it's got kind of a pinkish flesh. It's not really bad looking. So, so far so good. I think it's going to be, uh, I think it's going to be pretty good. I really have no clue. I've never talked to anyone that's really eaten one or anything like that. Here I've got a sail cat fillet. Never had sail cat before. I've heard of that they're actually not bad. The hard heads I've heard you don't really want to mess with those. So we're gonna go ahead and place it in the skillet. This one will be done here pretty soon, so we can just do one right after the other. I need another drink of this beer. Well, looks like we're coming to a close on the cooking part, and I can already tell you right now, the catfish looks pretty darn good. The ladyfish, it looks like a mushy swamp. Come in here and look at this. Come look. Look, look how mushy that is. I don't even want to eat that. I'm going to try it, but that looks awful. Look how firm the, the catfish is. And look at look at the difference. That looks awful. I mean, the color isn't bad, but just the mushiness of it is not appealing whatsoever. All right, all right we're all done. We've got this very mushy looking ladyfish versus this pretty darn good looking hardhead, uh, excuse me, sail cat, gap top sail cat. So we're gonna take a bite of that first because I'm actually very interested in it. Get that. This is unseasoned unadulterated, just cooked in some canola oil. We switched from the olive oil to the canola oil. Let's see how it goes. That's actually really good. It tastes like a freshwater catfish almost. Getting some more. Come get some of this, Brian. <laughs> the gaff top sail cat, or whatever you want to call them, is a win. If you're catching them out there, you need to start putting them in the cooler. These are good. Mmm. Yeah, it tastes straight up like uh, regular catfish. It's like regular catfish. Well, let's try some of this ladyfish, man. Look how mushy this shit is. Yeah, it's like. Try to get some of this. 
missing away from the bones. There's a lot of bones in them. A lot of little bitty bones. Really dry. And it didn't overcook it either. No, it, I mean, it's just... Look how, look how mushy it is. You see how mushy that it, is? It almost like, tastes like when you, if you were to take canned tuna and then fry it. The, the flavor isn't terrible, but it's just like a mushy rice almost is the, the somewhat or a, it tastes like or it, it, it tastes like tuna without the the extra you know like there's tuna. no tuna flavor yeah it's it's like it you, like you soaked it in water it's like if you soaked it in water and just let it sit there and then you went in and, and just ate it yeah I, I would in my opinion I would from here on out throw a ladyfish back and yeah. keep the sail cat <laughs> ladyfish you know it could be survival worse. food yeah. that that's not terrible survival food's not terrible catfish Everybody need needs to start keeping these sail cats. These things are good. I'm gonna take another bite of this. Let it no BS. No BS. This yeah. is delicious. Is there any left? Nope. Are you some too? Yeah. Thanks, Joe. Sorry, <laughs> we got some trout for you. Anyway. Hmm. 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 Yeah, I like I like the catfish mm -hmm. Bone. Bone. Here, man. <laughs> There's like one little smidge. Right. There you go, fun. sweetheart. <laughs> <laughs> this is my experiment, damn it. <laughs> that was good though. Yeah, hey, yeah, it is pretty good. Here from that little, from that little uh, yeah, right. crumb that I tasted. <laughs> the, verdict, the verdict is in. You need to keep sail cats. They're delicious. That's all I've got to say about that. It's done. I'm gonna start keeping them if I really want to, uh, you know, get some meat. Um, I don't target sell cats, but you know, you can't avoid catching them sometimes. Uh, that's it. Hey everyone, welcome to Head First Fishing, the series Great or Garbage. This is where we put different fish to the taste test. Fish I've never eaten before, and probably a lot of you have never eaten before. This is where we really find out what's good and what's terrible, 